So in this video I'm looking at making a little origami mini book. So if you look here you can see I've got a front and back cover and I've got six internal pages on this little mini book. So I'm using 15 centimeters squared paper, very similar to this for this particular mini book. So you can see that this page is folded to give you this little book. So it's just one single sheet. If I use 10 centimeter square paper, like I have here, then that gives me a book of this size. So again, the size of the paper would obviously determine the size of the book. And you can see here, there's quite a difference even between the size of the 15 centimeter square book, which is on the left hand side, and what I get when I, when I make it with 10 centimeter square paper, which is the one on the right hand side. If I use seven and a half centimeter square paper, like I have here, then I get this little book here, so quite small, but again, exactly the same principle, front and back cover and six internal pages. What we're going to make today is we're going to make a book using a sheet of A4 paper that you have underneath here. And that's going to give us a size of book like we have here. So again, front and back cover that I've patterned and then just six individual pages inside. You can also use A3 paper. Now I've used card here, so it's a little bit bulkier, but this is A3. And if you look at the difference in size between the A4 and the A3, you can see what size of book you will get there. And again, the, the weight of the paper that you use. So if you use light paper like this, you get a nice finish like we have here. If you use card, then it's obviously a little bit bulkier, but again, it depends on what you want to use your little book. For. You could also use just regular A3 paper or coloured A3 paper. So I'm just going to take all of these away and we'll start to look at how we can make this little book. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you one of these books that has been opened out. So this is the book. I'm just opening it out and you can see here that I have an open box. So that's really what I'm making is an open box. When you turn it over and you collapse it from the bottom then you can see it makes into my little mini book so that's what we're trying to get to and I'll just leave that box there so we can use that as reference now again just a reminder we want square paper and a4 is rectangular so we need to make this into a square so before I do that, I'm just going to color one side of it. So I'm just going to pattern it on one side so I can tell the difference between the two sides. And I'm just using a regular highlighter here. I actually have two sheets of paper here, so I'm going to take out one of them. And I'm just going to take this highlighter and I'm just going to color a little bit here. So I'm just going to pattern one side of the paper and then I'll just go the other way. I'm doing this very rough and ready, as you can see, but you can be a little bit more careful with what you're doing. So I'm just going to leave that there. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to make it into square paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tip here and I'm going to fold over. So what I want to do is I just want to roll along the edge here until I have kind of halved the angle here up in the corner. So here I just want to have that. Once I've had that and I'm flush along the side here, then I just crease. So I'm creasing as I go. So that is my first crease. Now again, if you don't want to put in that diagonal crease, you can just pinch at the, the corner here and that will allow you to make the square paper as well. In this particular fold, I do need to have the, the diagonal crease. So I'm just putting it in as I go. If I open it out, I now want to take the tip here and fold it down. So I want to fold it down like that. And then just again have the, the angle here. And once I have the angle halved, then I just crease along here. When I open this out, you'll see that I have an X here. Now I'm going to turn this over so you can see it a little bit easier. So just turn it over. What I want to do is I want to fold again from this corner here to this corner here and that will make it into a square. So what I do is I just pinch here and then I fold back on that pinch. So I just fold on along 
and again you're keeping it square along here and then you fold so you just crease as you go now if I turn that over you'll see that I have a square again what I want to do now is I just want to take off this excess bit here now there's lots of different things you can use to do that I'm just using a regular ruler here you can use a knife or a scissors but obviously you need to be careful if you're doing that and I'm just literally going to slide as I go so just slide along the paper with the ruler and that will get rid of the excess and that that bit now can be discarded or you could actually turn this into smaller squares and make your mini books from those as well so now I have my square of paper now you'll see here there's an X so with origami you have what are called mountain folds and valley folds so the ridges here are the mountain folds and if I turn it over you get the valley folds sometimes you want a mountain fold and a valley fold in one crease and the way you, you get that is if you just fold it back on itself so I'm going to do that on this because when I want to collapse the bottom of my box then I need it to be just a little bit more flexible so again I'm just going to go this way and I've got a mountain fold here and I'm going to fold it back on itself here so this is the pattern side so I'm just going to fold that crease along there and that will give me what I need so now I open it out again now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take the bottom edge here so the long edge to the long edge at the top and again once you have it along the top here then you just crease I'm just going to crease like that now you'll notice here I'm not being hugely precise and that's okay in this situation I open that out I turn it around and again I'm taking my long edge to the long edge at the top so that and again crease so there is my crease now again you'll notice that those edges that I, those folds that I've put in are mountain folds I want to turn them into valley folds so I'm just turning it and then I'm just going to on the pattern side pull up the pattern side to the top and crease so I'm just doing the same thing with both and again here I'm just folding it back on itself here again and just creasing now what you'll see here is when I open it out we have eight different triangles here that are all the same and again if I open out my little box here you'll see that this is the bottom of my box and that's what I'm making here is the bottom of my box so that's the first part now I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to turn it in this way what I'm now doing is I'm going tip into middle now you'll notice I'm not terribly precise here and that's okay I just bring tip into middle and then I'm taking that long edge into the middle again so these are guide folds here and I'm just folding up to that guide fold and crease I just turn it around and I'm going to do the same on the other side now I'm just going to open this one out so I have a little bit more space and I'm taking my tip into the middle and creasing and then I'm taking my long edge into the middle again and again I am just going to crease that just like that so now if I fold that back in you'll start to see there's the bottom of my box again now I just turn it around and I do the same on the other two corners so I take tip into middle and crease and I take long edge into middle and again I just crease as I go that's my third side of the box there and then I turn it around again tip into middle and you'll notice that I'm folding in on the patterned side and that's why I just did the pattern just so you can see which way because it can be a little bit confusing if you're not sure which way you're doing it so I'm always folding in on the pattern side I just open that out there so you can see what I'm doing 
and then long edge into middle and crease. So now I have folded all the tips in. Now what I'm going to do is one of these is going to fold in just as you can see here. So this one is going to fold in and then this one up out here is going to fold out and that's to make the front cover. So the front and back cover are going to be these two squares here. So I'm just going to do something that will make that a little bit easier. I'm just going to turn again this valley fold, just crease along here, make the valley fold into a mountain fold, turn it round and do the same on the side and again do the same on this side. So I'm just making those into mountain folds there just to make the job a little bit easier later. So that one is going to fold out and this one here is going to fold in. I'm just going to turn it round because it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. Now what I'm doing is I'm pulling up the sides and I'm pushing in on these two sides here. So it just kind of naturally goes in with you. So I'm just pulling it up and pushing as I pull it up and then I fold it in and there is my third side and there is the bottom of my box. Now again, remember I said it wasn't particularly precise, but that's all going to be hidden within the, the book, so that's fine. So that's my three sides, as you can see there, just like I have in the box here. And then I'm going to turn it around again. Now remember, this one is folding out. So what I need to do is I need to kind of push up on the bottom here. So push up and you see the, the mountain folds here. You just kind of push that so this side goes pushed in behind and this one also pushes in behind like that and if you turn it around you can see that they're coming into the middle just push down on the, the bottom there to make sure the bottom is flush and that is what's happening at the back and then you literally just push that down there like that and tuck it under on the bottom so there's my inside of my box and there's my outside of my box just like I have there. The last thing to do now is and this is why I remember I, I changed the folds I just folded them back in on themselves and that makes this bit easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push in here so you're just pushing it in and pushing it in on this side so you're literally just collapsing really just collapsing your box so you push in from the bottom and it just all kind of collapses in like that in like that and then push it in and squeeze just give it a good old squeeze there and then you pull out the cover and just tuck that little bit in the bottom just like that so the last thing to do now is so there's my little box collapsed and once your box is collapsed, you just fold it in half, just like that. And that gives you your mini book. Front and back cover with one, two, three, four, five, six pages. And that is just from one single A4 printer page.